Hello everyone, it's Francesco here. What I'm gonna do in this video is run over some of the Todoist features that have just been introduced and some of the ones that are pending in the beta release. So as you can see here, this is the Android N announcement. They have officially added some new features for Android. So the main features in the new Android update revolve around essentially you using your 7.1 device or higher in a more effective way. So they've introduced a host of new sharing abilities, widgets, and also functionality for help you searching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link the Android information in the description below. And now what we're gonna do is jump into the Mac version to run across some of the features that I've discovered that I really, really enjoy. So as you can see here, we're here on the Mac version. As you can see, I'm running a Todoist beta. Some of the features here are new. Uh, and one feature, some of the features I really enjoy so far and I'm testing. As you can see here, there's a brand new feature that is still pending. Uh, I don't think they've officially released it, not that I've seen anyway, but the feature is called Quick Schedule Overdue. Now it probably will be changed from that name before they release it. As you can see here, you can see that I've got two out of due tasks. Now, once you click this, you can actually see that it analyzes that you've got two out of date tasks. Essentially here, now I can actually get suggested dates on when I can do them. So it actually picks the exact time for me to do them, uh, which is pretty crazy. And it obviously gives you analysis on the tomorrow, what you actually got on and how it affects your day once they're implemented. Once you click update, it will automatically reorganize those tasks for you, but you can actually reschedule based on date here or remove task from quick scheduling. Um, so once I've removed just update one at a time, where I can actually organize a rescheduled date there. Essentially, this is a good way for you to sort of coordinate any tasks that are overdue. It wants you to highlight and sort of reorganize at speed, which is good. Uh, something that I think Swipes did very well on the application. It's sort of like snoozing, but obviously in a more effective way. The other thing I really like is if you're in a project and you want to click on the project comments, you can now actually add comments to a project, which is quite cool. So you might have some holistic goals that you want to add. You can actually add them here now, uh, which is pretty cool and very beneficial for those looking for a general overview to their project. Especially when you're in a team, this could be a very handy tool. The other thing I found over the month, obviously some of you guys know about this, is the quick comment feature. I really love this feature, especially when I'm adding it into the Mac uh, at speed, I want to be able to add some comments. This is a really helpful instead of me having to make, make the actual task, then go into and add the comments later, which is very beneficial. The other feature that not many people know about yet is the activity log. Now you can see overview of the entire activities inside your to-do list. You can actually see it by project, or you can actually go into all projects and actually see what progress you made across the day. As you can see, you can see all of the comment changes, all of the tasks that were added, all the tasks that were deleted and changed due date. You can actually see the entire history of your Todoist if you do wish so. But it does, at the end of the day, give you a potentially a overview of some of the changes that you made. But the one thing I'd say is that it's not crunched down enough. I think obviously they're still pending on releasing this properly because obviously, as you can imagine, they want to make it as user-friendly as possible. At the moment, I think this is good, but I don't think it adds such value as completed tasks area does have. So as you may have seen, something very, very small, they've actually added the ability to actually see the color of the uh, label before you actually enter it, which is pretty cool. I think previously they didn't do that. And as you can see, it makes a lot of difference. Now, once you press add, you can actually see all of the labels at a glance on what you're working on, which makes it really simple to add them and very intuitive. Another thing I like as well is if you're really specific, you can actually go into a label at five minutes, for example, and actually relocate all of the activities that you can do. So this, once hitting update, will change all of your suggested dates here. So for example, let's say you've dumped a project full of tasks that you haven't done yet. Uh, they may be uh, all associated to time or something like that. What you can essentially do is then click quick schedule overdue once this feature is available and actually click update and they'll all process to the next day or process to days that see you available on. So as you can see here, uh, it's actually projected six of these tasks uh, onto a tomorrow and uh, two on Monday because they realize that I'm quite busy on a Friday. So as you can imagine, that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, there's some of the cool features inside of Mac. I said this would be a short video and I did mean it. They are only a few that I've discovered in the last few weeks that I'm really impressed with. As I said, they're not officially released yet from my knowledge, so I'll keep you updated on whether they come out. And if you're looking forward to them, then it's something that you might want to sign up to do as beta for. I'll include some information in the description. Anyway, guys, that's everything. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.